हमें Is this the story? Yes. Your story? Oh no. What's it about? Struggle. It's about struggle. Struggle with yourself, with people, and with culture. It's about lost and found. It's about a quest for freedom. Freedom? Is it enslaved? No. At least his body not. It is his mind that encloses him. And sometimes mentally enclosed makes people more secluded from the real world. Sounds interesting, I like it. Well then yes. let me read it closely. Sure. I'm now in Taipei, the center of Taiwan. Many people, including you, might think that I've done well, but I was so happy in the Philippines. I was so happy. When I was in the Philippines, people respected me. I had so many friends. We ate and chatted after work and rested cosily on the pavement. Everything was wonderful, and I thought this would be with forever. Yet, the story has just begun, and the peace and quiet was swept over all in a sudden, when I got older from my sahib. Sahib, are you sure? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's Taipei. Yes. It's like New York City to America. It's the, the, the heart of the world and the, the hope of the human race and the, 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 the light of the, the, my life. Okay. And okay. Okay. I mean, okay. Okay. Whatever. Okay. This is not Syria. Taipei is not a Philippine. Taipei is not Philippine. Yeah. People in Taipei uh, speak different language and use different money and eat different food, wearing different clothes, not like us, Filipinos. Yeah, you know. So listen up, okay? Taipei is not good. Yeah, I'm going to Taipei, okay? Right? I mean, it's Taipei. Yeah, okay, okay. Whatever. <laughs>
years to change. It's only thirty dollars for a drink, and this is much cheaper in Philippines. Sorry. It smells so sweet, right? Me, black, and handsome. <laughs> she picked. <laughs> oh. I think we shall meet some other day, shall we? I'm a prisoner. I accept this and adjust. I learned to live with the apartment, and I was even calm. A prisoner? How come Celia becomes a prisoner? She has started to lose herself. Although she's in Taipei, she acts like a Filipino, as if she is still in her hometown. Yet her body is trapped there.
Oh, I see. And she's changing. Yes, she's changing. The new surroundings make her see herself in a different way. She doesn't want to be someone else's presence anymore. She starts to dress herself nicely, and she could never go back to the way she lives her life in the Philippines. Therefore, she becomes nothing, neither a Taiwanese nor a Filipino. A few days later, I have my adventure. The Hapshi man comes in my house, moving among my employer's ornaments like a bull. I was gradually provoked, and his smell so strong that I cannot stand any more. He's like a god of death and destruction, and he laughs all the time. I feel dreadful. I want to be forgiven. I want to be cleansed. I want him go. Dancing, dance on the floor. Every time I go, go. I want you to go now. Why? We're having so much fun now. Well, I'll go then. Oh, what happened, Celia? Sahib, this is what I do from time to time. Oh, oh, poor Celia. What are we doing in this place? And why do we have to come here, Sahib? You know, last night I had dinner with government officers and I met a Taiwanese. He was so arrogant. I made fun of Filipinos. And all I could do was nothing but smile at his joke. What a shame for us, Celia. What a shame for us, Celia. Sahib. What a shame for us. Sahib. Let's not think about this. We are prisoners here. No. Not just here. Even if you go back to the Philippines, you are prisoners as well. There's no way out. Sahib, I, I... I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for both of us. Let's watch some news, yeah? Sahib, what is this? Is the city on fire? The Hapshi has gone wild, Celia. They are burning down Taipei. To tell the truth, I don't mind at all. In my mood of prayer and repentance, the news is even welcome. And it's with a feeling of release that I watch and hear the city burn, in day and night, again and again. I want everything in the city, even the apartments, even myself, to be destroyed and consumed. <laughs> the burn. Celia must be happy to watch the city burn, isn't she? Well... I would say Celia was released. 
belief. The Hashi and Seiya are now their countrymen, yet they are both adding in Taipei. So Seiya must think it will share something like donuts or medical. After the fire, I go for long walks in the city. One day, when I'm not even thinking of escape, when I'm just enjoying the sights and my new freedom of movement, I find myself in one of those sleepy streets where private houses have been turned into business premises. I love her talk. I haven't heard anything so sweet and philosophical since the Philippine days. Lucy, I'll cook for you. You want to cook? Really, Sina? That's so nice. I think I've known you for such a long time. It's just an old friend. So I will approach you as much as I can. Really? Yes, no worries. Show me the place to sleep. Okay. And let me tell you, first one. The restaurant is a success from the start, and Lucy always bursts into the kitchen. And say, prestige job, Celia, prestige. I feel I'm earning my freedom. I feel I'm much more in charge of myself than I have ever been. Many of our waiters are Vietnamese, and their talk is all of papers and something about alien resident certificate. At first, I didn't know what they are talking about. When I understand, I'm more than depressed. Yo, do you know Nam Nam has got his ASD? Did he? Did he cheat it out? Yeah. What do you think? Gee. I should get one as soon as possible. I can be deported at any moment. That's why. <laughs> resident certificate. I have no resident certificate. What should I do? I could be denounced or seized or jailed at any moment. I am illegal in Taiwan. Hey, Celia, what are you doing? And you don't look very well. Are you okay? Sahib, I cannot stay with you any longer. Why? Sahib, I have enemies. Huh? Enemies? A girl like you don't have enemies. There is no profit in it. I have the enemies, you know? Sahib, 
I need to tell you something. So, at last, I tell her my story. I tell her about my old employer and my escape. I also tell her about the Hobson man. Celia, you have no problems. I mean, marry the Hobshi. It will make you a citizen. Then you can be free. But I have a husband and children in the Philippines. But Taipei is your home. I know Philippines was your home, but it's over, all over. Taipei is not Philippines. You're alone here, and nobody cares what you do. So, Mary Hapshi. I try to think of the particular moment in my life, the particular action that has brought me to the room. Was it the moment with the Hapshi man, or was it when Sahib told me about the insult from the Taiwanese? Was it the moment of my escape, my sight of Lucy in the restaurant, or was it much earlier, in Philippines, in the hills? It was frightening. It was burdensome. It's not a time for the new decisions. It's time to stop. So now I'm a citizen. My presence is legal. And I live in Taipei. I'm still with Lucy. But we don't talk as much as we did. There are always rumors of new burning. And people scrolling on the pavement outside my house. I understand their words. And I was once part of the world. And one day, I look into the mirror and decide to be Decide to be free. Is it is it because Celia is done with the struggle? I mean, she's identified herself with the Taiwanese culture? Yeah, you can say that. So, the exotic place is no more exotic to her, right? I mean, she's making adjustment. She sees it the change to start over, to erase the past, and to have a brand new identity. Yeah, you got it, boy. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't say it's a perfect freedom, for it carries sorrow and solely. In the meantime, Celia gains freedom, she also loses innocence, right? Good point were made, sir. It's impossible for Celia to live so carefree and happy as she was in the third place. And, for your information, I wasn't intended to make it so perfect, you know. Everything has its price, even freedom. It pays, and sometimes it demonstrates. Depends on what you desire and how you value it in your 
Yeah, I, I got your point. Life is unfathomable, isn't it? Sure, it is. By the way, would you take the same pick if you were Celia? Me? Yeah. Mm, free from the concern of her hometown, free from the secrets she's been keeping, and free from imprisonment in Taipei. That's why she got married. <laughs> That's evil. Yeah, that's life. Yeah, I, I got it. I think I'll make the same choice with Celia. We are all so fragile that a blow of wind can make us bend and easily pull us from the root. Yeah, that's a weakness of our nature. Good, good, good. The story is really touching. I'll have it published. It's gonna make a hit. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's a pleasure talking to you. The pleasure is all mine. Well, keep in touch, alright? Of course. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you please tell me your name again? My name is Vidyaha Sarvaza Nankov.